Okay, I'm gonna try and wrap this up today. Pretty much at the end of it, I think. This time, there hasn't been a couple of weeks <laughs> since I last played. Mopping, mopping, never stopping. The more I mop, the more oil appears. It's probably because they installed two giant leaking pipes in the throne room. N not that I'm disputing any interior decoration choices. I'll have a look around first. I mean, I'm going to assume not to walk into the giant mouth yet. Oh, it's not even a side passage. Okay, maybe walk into the giant mouth. This is a wee bit unnerving. Oh. I can actually... Observing you. Uh. <laughs> oh, that noise. What a journey you have been on. What challenges you have overcome. I'm not earning any more currency. What fears you have confronted? No, thank you. It's full of snakes. Oh, that's right. You hate snakes, don't you, Thrash? I'm nodding. You might not be able to tell because I'm shaking so much. Dudes, does anyone really like snakes? I don't love them. Right? Well, anyway, we have to get through this. This is just Humgrump trying to psych us out. And dudes, it's not going to work. Come on. But Trarg. Gets bitten immediately.
Wahoo! Snake dudes confirm no match for the Merjam crew. You thrash them. Any more snakes around here? Bring on the snakes. Did you like my pun? I think we took care of all of them. Well then, dudes, we're doing good. Let's rock on. And yet, all your efforts have been for naught. You are under the impression that you might stop me or do me harm. But that is impossible. For I am unstoppable. Are we just going to replace these words? <laughs> You see, I, Humgrump, now control the book, and so control our reality. I wish I still had the word cheese. And I'd replace unstoppable with the word cheese. And one who controls the very fabric of reality cannot be stopped. We're close. I can feel it in my whiskers. There's something waiting through that door. That creepy old grump is right, you know. He does control the reality of the book now. I can't lie to you, going up against him... Our odds aren't great. Are you sure you're ready to step through the door? Our chances may be slim, but... I don't want to live in any plot line that Humgrump controls. So... However we can stop that, that's what we have to do. No turning back- oh, not turning back now. We're in. For Artia. Alright, well... Here goes nothing. Oh, what could it be? I hear a step upon my floor. The stepping feet of traders fall. Look what crept right through my door. I'm Grump. We're here on behalf of the people of Mojo. We've come to take back this land. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, I see. Well, if the mouse says so, then I will have to give it some serious consideration. Okay, I've seriously considered. The answer is, that's seriously not happening. Ow. Bogus. Let us go, Humgrump. Haven't you done enough harm? To Mojo, to your own brother. Where does it end? Well, I'd say that this story ends here. But not the tale about me. Oh, no, 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 no. That still has many magnificent chapters still to be written. Rather, the one about the peppy protégés of my wonderful brother. Among them, the plucky squire. Didn't you used to be someone? You are quite the starring character around these chapters. Funny how things can change from hero to has been in the turn of page. In the turn of a page, geez. I will so enjoy giving your tale, all of your tales, a fitting ending. You see, you do so irritate me. Your youth, your entitlement, your potential. It will be a pleasure to end that potential right here, right now. I will burn you alive, just like I did. Uh 
Ha, fast asleep. Nap time for the grumpy baby. Yo. Moonbeard. Now, let's see what we can do about this nasty magical cage. Moonbeard, you're really here. But how? I thought you were... We're gone. Snap. I was pretty sure it was curtains for Moonbeard too. But it was not so. The little twerp humdrum zapped me. And vaporized me into a cloud of ink. Or rather undignified, I must say. In my cloudy form, I floated wispily through the room. <laughs> what? I finally landed on a sheet of ultra-absorbent kitchen roll. Oh, my God. And through a little magic, found myself reformed. And that's how Moonbeard got his form back. You know, Violet, the magic that reformed me, it was the very potion we cooked up together in my lab. The potion of rebinding. I'm very glad I drank that concoction. It saved my life. I'm I'm just glad I could have helped. Your assistance has been essential, Violet. All of you. What's with the new look, MB? Ah, Thrash, you know, it's a funny thing. When I was reformed, the pigments in my ink were dissolved, leaving me utterly colorless. I am classic Moonbeard no more. Now I am... Moonbeard the monochromatic? Okay, so it has to be like a Gandalf reference. <laughs> Rad, you look pretty metal. And Minibeard? Why has he got that colorless look? That little dude went through all of this too. Oh, no. No, no. Nothing happened to Minibeard. No, he was out roller skating when all of this went down. I think he changed his outfit a minute or two ago to coordinate. Roller skating. It was really quite a trek from that sheet of kitchen roll back to this world. Paige, the bookworm, helped me on the way. Good old Paige. Anyway, I'm back now, and from the look of Humgrump's antics, not a moment too soon. You say a back, silly brother of mine. You won't be able to protect your pretty little students. Not from me. For I control reality itself. Space. Time. It's all mine. Time to demolish your wretched pests. Or pets. Did he just turn into an eagle? The Mega Eagle. Okay. See, rather annoying. I see. Upon our heroes with a combative cry. Thrash twirled his drumsticks and got ready to rumble. Oh boy. Holy crap. Dude, <laughs> ridiculous. Oh. Wow. 
Whoops. I'm swinging too much. Thankfully this doesn't score. It's just as long as I hit it, it's fine. Holy crap. Got him. First try. Violet readied her wand. Oh, we're gonna repeat it's everything. To get magical. Okay. I got this. Ooh, we need to... Yep. Oh no, this one's significantly harder. Holy crap. Oh. Yikes. Um, okay, we're okay. Calm. Ugh, not what we want. Damn it. Man, the pieces were just not in my favor. Please. Ooh, not good. Oh my god. <laughs> That's close. Oh, now it's time for boxing. rather annoyed. I'm not good at punch out. Punch out. <laughs> Not good at it. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now it's a normal fight. I'm just not patient enough to play punch out. Oh, come on. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Stupid punch out. 
the one game that I'm like not exactly right at because I never played it. Joth dusted himself off and arose to fight once more. Ah, oh, I gotta redo the whole thing. Come on, man. change I hate punch out. Oh, I'm not good at punch out. Joth dusted himself off and arose to fight once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We're in business now. It's okay, I blocked that. Almost lost it.
かの罠。You put up a good fight, little whelps. But I was merely playing with you. Time to get serious. Uh. Oh, that is gross. The games end here. My transformation is at hand. I cannot uh, stop it any longer. The silly little book. It was never enough for me. I have grander designs. The outside world. That is what I now desire. I will seize everything out there. And I will burn this little book to ash. It is time ah, to finally fulfill ugh, my potential. Oh, sound effects. Drat, he's given us the slip. It's that meta magic. It's just too powerful. As long as he has that staff in his grubby hands, he'll always be able to pull some kind of mischief. This time he's leapt straight out of our world. Jot, this is a job for the plucky squire. You must follow Humgrump out of the book and put a stop to him before he becomes all-powerful. What hangs in the balance is the fate of this book and the entire outside world. No pressure. Go get him, lad. Jot, good luck out there. We believe in you. You can do it. Dark speed, dude. Oh, okay. Where are the kids' parents and all this? <laughs> I don't know, explosions coming from their child's bedroom. You'd think they might maybe take a look. Oh, I just ran into that. Oh, why did I do that? I guess I'm safe here for now. Jot, what's with the giant horrible butterfly and the rain of explosive green fireballs? I mean, it's quite exciting. Is it time to save the galaxy again? All right, let's do this. Oh, okay. Man, how many genres is going to become?
This just makes me want Star Fox back. Whoa! Wasn't ready for that. Now he's pissed. What is this? Oh, that's the only way to damage him is to hit one of those things back. Damn it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Little, little health, please. Okay, thank you. Sort of. Oh. the shield again. Am I shooting a tennis ball? <laughs> Just noticed that. Nice story. shield again. Okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh, what now? It's a very neocortex way to go out. Rocketing raspberries. That butterfly was a real mean specimen. The galaxy is heaving with weird old creatures, you know. But you gave that one a right good bop. 
blastingly brilliant job, the both of you. You're shaping up to be quite the intergalactic heroes. Now, young warrior, best return to your home planet. Can I go see him? funny if you can just go check him out. And otherwise, why would it show me where he crashed? Oh. Hmm, guess not. the entrance. Jot! Dude. Amazing work, lad. I was watching you battling that monstrous buttergrump. You know, my brother's staff, it's been destroyed. And so his power is gone. And he is banished. Perhaps it will give him time to finally reflect on things. And good riddance to you. Your Majesty, Moonbeard, Pip, kids, you're all okay. I'm so happy to see you. Likewise, Your Majesty. Mural and I have been imprisoned in this miserable place. Oh, for so long. But just now, Humgrum's troops, they began to panic. To scatter. I can feel, somehow, that wizard's dark power has dissipated. Just so, your highness. Jot defeated Humgrump and destroyed his metamatic staff. That greasy weasel's power is gone. Jot, how can I thank you enough? Once again, the land is indebted to its champion. Violet, Thrash, Pip, they all stood up in Mojo's time of need. They all did their part. You became quite the warriors that Moonbeard knew you would become. I'm proud of you all. Now then. Let's get out of this creepy palace. Your Majesty, that sounds like an excellent idea. We have a land to rebuild. Young ones, lead the way. And so, after battling Humgrump's remains, it says nine out of ten. The forces of good reclaim the land of Mojo and brought peace back to the land. Artia Castle was restored to its former glory, and the people of Mojo came from far and wide to gather at the town. Celebrating their freedom with a marvelous party. <gasps> Taking a break from the revelry, Jot noticed something. Oh, yeah, right, that figure standing near the entrance to the castle. He made his way over there to investigate. Am 
and I think we're done. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps. And there we are, the legendary plucky squire himself. What an absolute honor to finally meet you. Ah, but I can see you're thinking, who's this weird robed chap? Well, since no one else is around, I think it's only polite I show my face. Oh. Well, met. Oh, well, we meet again, Jot. You remember me, don't you? The last time we met was in prehistory. You were maniacally dodging lava bombs, as I recall. I believe I may have mentioned I am a time traveler. But what I didn't mention is that I'm actually from your future. And in that future, I'm the main character in a series of books just like you. Quite popular books, I must add. With very lucrative merchandising tie-ins and brand integrations. Came back to your time to watch you and your friends on your historic adventures. You didn't disappoint the way you showed that hum grump what for. Utterly sensational. I've also come to give you a message from the author of my books. He wanted to let you know that you, Violet, Thrash, Pip, Moonbeard, have all been a great inspiration to him. When he doubts himself and needs to be brave, when he knows what the right thing to do is, even though it's hard, or when he needs to think of a creative way out of a tough spot, he remembers the plucky squire and his friends. And the way forward reveals itself. Now, I've said what I needed to say. I've seen what I wanted to see. I must be going. Until we meet again, lucky squire. Somewhere in the time stream. Jot, dude, there you are. We came to find you. And to take a breather from the party, if we're being honest. So many people want to talk to us. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello there. Hi. Ugh. I think I might have developed a vacant stare. It's pretty cool though, all the things, all the nice things people are saying about us. Kind of unbelievable, making us sound like we're heroic warriors or something. Well, you know, we did sort of save the land, pretty major deal. No lie, quite the thing, really. Yeah, I suppose so. We rocked. Go us. Oh, they broke out the fireworks. Rockin' party. Hey, Jot, I wanted to ask. You're going to be writing this whole adventure up in a new book, right? You have to. I mean, it's one gnarly story. Ooh, make sure I look really cool, okay? Maybe leave out the part where we're being attacked by poisonous snakes. My mom would freak out. The title? What's the title going to be? Something heroic. Warrior-esque. Hey, wait a minute. Is someone watching Minibird? You know how he gets around fireworks. Good point. Come on, dudes. Let's get back to the fun. Yeah. The end. Oh, there we go. Never mind. It is a pretty detailed drawing for a 10 year old. Why is it? <laughs> Why was the town setting off fireworks? <laughs> Alright. I mean, th this is a nice book. Interactive story thing. I mean, that's basically what it is. Um, the idea is really cool, though. Just the whole being able to go in and out of the book. Kind of reminds me of, um, Link Between Worlds. I guess that's why it piqued my interest when they revealed it. But also the art style is really nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's fun. Just the only one thing, and it's not so much a critique, it's just personal preference. Is, it is very handholdy, but granted, I imagine this is something you'd give to, like, a, a younger child and, you know, treat it as, uh, way for them to learn these kind of games, so that's fine. It serves a purpose, I think. 
there's no, um... I guess there's no established con design convention with this. It's just, yeah. With Zelda, on the other hand... <laughs> Whilst that was less handholdy, I noticed it more because, I don't know, the Zelda games I grew up with didn't have any of that really. Had some of it, but not to the extent that the new Zelda game, um, Echoes of Wisdom, had. But, you know, both enjoyable. Just, the, the time this came out at, um, was definitely a little awkward given the amount of stuff that's out. Oh, you can also skip, that's cool. Um, is there any... I guess there's no post-game thing. I was kind of hoping... Well... I guess the only post-game thing... Is trying to find... The art gallery stuff, which... Uh, it's, it's fine. We can probably check out a little bit of this, just to kind of... Fill this in. There's going to be a much shorter VOD. Because I had no idea how much was left last time, and it was getting late. But I kind of figured this was stuff that wasn't going to be in the game. Some of these stages would have been cool, though. Like Maybe in the follow-up. Hmm. One-way dominoes? Okay. I mean, the doors... I mean, see, that, that was sort of realized. You can see it. Oh, this would have been cool. I would have loved an area like this. Like, thematically, I like that. Enemy ideas. Okay, the one thing I don't like is when you go back, it takes you back to the top. Like, look at this. And then it scrolls it back up to the top. Like the selection, not... Whack-a-mole. Yeah, okay. Early character for Thrash. Early character for Violet. A graphical glitch in the boxing winning game created friend glitch bird. Oh. Huh. Some of the stuff is pretty cool behind the scenes. Exploration of the look of the room. This was use useful reference for the 3D artist. Oh. This ve looks very Toy Story like. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, let's wrap it up here. Um. Yeah, that was, uh, the Plucky Squire. Definitely recommend this one if you've got, like, kids around and you want them to check out something that's fun. Uh, also fun for adults if you've grown up with these kind of games. Um, but yeah. If you enjoyed the playthrough and are checking this out as a replay and want to support the channel, just click the like button. It helps a lot. But thank you so much for watching. <laughs>